As most of you have probably heard by now, Amazon is laying off 14,000 corporate employees, which includes engineers, managers, HR, etc. This is about 4% of Amazon's corporate workforce being let go, and it's setting off a lot of alarms. Do you know what else has set off a large alarm? This channel has just recently hit 100 subscribers, and that's massive. I want to thank everyone who subscribed and everyone who supports the channel, whether it's by viewing or leaving your comments. Thank you. And now let's get back to the video. Why is Amazon doing this? Amazon is claiming this is due to cultural efforts, that they want to run the company as, quote, the world's largest startup, which means they want faster cycle times, more innovation, and a lot less bureaucratic layers, a lot less approval from managers, and a lot less meetings and waiting for approval. Just things that are bogging down development time. According to Business Insiders, about 6,000 of these 14,000 employees were managers, specifically in levels 5 to 7, so that ranges from mid to upper level of management. And this kind of aligns with what Amazon has stated. However, news outlets are making it seem like this layoff is only software engineers and that they're being replaced by AI. And this is a growing precedent in the media. Now the question is, what do I think, and how is this going to affect software engineers? Well, I have a friend who works at Amazon as a software engineer, and he's told me how hard they push for their developers to run all of their code through Amazon's internal AI tooling suite, and how he spends most of his time correcting this AI code or waiting for approvals on his PRs. This completely aligns with the values that I think Amazon's trying to push with this layoff, which is increase AI usage so the shareholders are happy, and cut down on layers of management that are holding up development time. Now, how is this going to affect you? Well, the obvious answer is that if thousands of Amazon-level engineers are being sent back into an already tough job market, that it's only gonna get harder and more competitive to get a job, especially entry-level positions. I think this is the narrative that most people are going with, and I definitely think there's some truth to it. But I don't want you to think that all of the engineers being let go are gigachad large coders just because they got a job at Amazon. And this kind of applies to any big tech company. I think it's absolutely possible that there are engineers who are friends with the hiring manager, whose dad runs the company, who are really good at interviews or good at cheating interviews using AI, and they're able to get the job, but they're not able to perform because they're not up to standards. My friend has told me stories about people on his team who are just like this. They were able to get the job, but they put in no effort and they kind of just scrape by. And in super massive tech companies, especially like Amazon, this is something that can take a long time to detect and correct. So this layoff might just be that correction in order to slim down and increase efficiency. Now, I am in no way supporting a massive layoff like this. I'm sure there are a lot of good engineers, good people who are losing their jobs due to corporate greed and upper management quotas. It's stressful. It's unfair. I get it. And I'm also one of the last people who's, for lack of better words, going to do tricks on it and support Amazon just because they're a trillion dollar company. I don't like Amazon. I think it's an exploitive company and easily the worst fang company to work at. I just don't want anyone to see this news and lose their excitement or passion for coding because they think the demand is gone or they think their job's gonna be replaced by AI in two years. There's always going to be a demand for excellence, especially in a bubble like this where every company is trying to increase margins by replacing everything with AI and incorporating AI into every little service they offer. But this isn't sustainable. And when this bubble pops, the software breaks, and everything collapses, we're going to need engineers to rebuild and fix this AI garbage. Let's look at the AWS situation that just happened a few days ago. Do we really think the engineers that got this system back online were using ChatGPT to debug it? Hey ChatGPT, hey Grok, AWS is down, half the country doesn't have services. How do I fix this? What do I go about doing this? No, 
They fixed it because they're experts. They know how to problem solve. They know how to debug. It's what they've spent their life doing. It's what they've spent their career studying. And it's not something that can just be easily chatted away in an AI chatbot. And that's all I'm trying to say. They fixed it because they know how to problem solve. The big takeaway here is to keep grinding, keep learning, never stay loyal to your massive company, and stay large.